we'd like to talk about bonsai. We have some unique specimens here, and I have John Pedersen, a local bonsai expert, is going to share some of his secrets as far as creating these wonderful artistic specimens. John, when we think of bonsai, this is an ancient art? Yes, it is an ancient art. Uh, it started in Asia and uh, moved east, uh, particularly to the United States after World War II. The southerners uh, had a little difficulty with the, uh, some of the northern plants that were typical bonsai items at the time, pine trees and conifers, and we started uh, developing tropical plants for bonsai. Now, actually, bonsai was really started for traveling medicine men to carry to carry their 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 leaves and their berries uh, from one place to another, and and it's evolved into an art form. I'm I'm glad you mentioned southern because this is a, a ficus tree, I believe, one of the, one of the many ficuses that's been trained in, into into a into that form, uh, condensed down to this this very small container, but giving the the form of this tree like it might be a thousand years old. I assume these aren't just done overnight. It takes a long time to create one. There's a few ingredients that are absolutely essential to bonsai. One is patience. It takes a long time to, to grow one of these, as it does most trees in the wild. But you have to have soil and water and fertilizer. None of these things come natural to the bonsai because it's a closed environment, and you have to provide it for yourself. The one thing that I could tell you about this particular tree is it's called exposed root. Now it's a ficus retusa, and a ficus retusa is a specific type of ficus that can be styled into many different shapes, uh, of which are all recognized as, as officially bonsai shapes. Th this is an exposed root. And, I, and I, I see here you've got kind of a gravelly um, uh, product here. I assume that, that helps with the uh, airflow air movement and, 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 and keeping the, in the smaller pot, keeping this plant from being, being too wet. So it's not necessarily just a potting soil. It actually has a lot of aggregate, smaller aggregate material. I see some bark there. John, I'd like to thank you for taking the time today to, to introduce us to this wonderful artwork. We are going to have some additional programs that are going to go in a little more depth. So thank you very much. And we hope you have enjoyed this segment on Bonsai. Look forward to the next one. And have a successful gardening day.